Daniel Chester French was a sculptor, but his monumental sculpture is so well known that I promoted him into part two as a major architect. I am grateful uh, in passing to a, a musician named Doug Yeo, who had enough interest to travel the US taking excellent photographs, providing descriptions and putting them on the net for me to find. Ralph Waldo Emerson got Daniel his first commission for the Minuteman statue in Concord, Massachusetts, unveiled for the centennial of the Battle of Concord by President Grant in 1875. Four years later, Daniel made a bust of Emerson that became a statue in 1884. Emerson said on completion, Dan, that is the face I shave. From 1890, the statue of Thomas Starr King, California's most important Unitarian minister. This is in San Francisco's Golden Gate Park. Here's two statues, both called Republic, both in Chicago, by Daniel French. The one on the left was dedicated in 1893 for the Chicago World's Fair, and it was not intended to be permanent. It was 65 feet tall, made of gilded plaster, and situated in the Court of Honor, an artificial lagoon connected to Lake Michigan. The permanent copy on the right is 24 feet and was dedicated in 1918 to celebrate the 25th anniversary. I'm sure it brought back happy memories for many people. Here's Alma Mater, 1903, in front of the Lowell Library in, at Columbia University, New York City. The two women are the photographer's wife and daughter. From 1903 to 07, Daniel worked on New York City's new custom house at Bowling Green. He sculpted four continents, Africa, America, Asia, and Europe. He was no world historian, and I don't think he presented all the continents in ways that would appeal to their inhabitants, but uh, they are still uh, great works of art. This is Africa, then known as the Sleeping Continent. This is America, both north and south. This is Asia. For better or worse, Daniel chose to highlight the widespread poverty that then prevailed in India. And this is Europe. Here's the Henry Wadsworth Longfellow Memorial done in 1913, a statue of abolitionist Wendell Phillips in Boston, 1915. And Daniel's most famous work, of course, is his seated statue of Lincoln in Washington's Lincoln Memorial. It is 18 feet tall, commissioned in 1911, carved in 28 sections from Georgia marble, and installed in 1922. This is Casting Bread Upon the Waters, 1924, a Boston memorial to philanthropist George White. This photo was taken by Maya Bell, I hope I pronounced that right, in 2009. Fresh fruit is often placed on the statue, sometimes by a homeless man who occasionally sleeps at the base. I'll stop, but Daniel made hundreds of statues. My thanks again to Douglas Yeo for the photographs.